everyone and welcome to another 481 Designs video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick little project. Uh, it's actually my very first tutorial so um, I'm really excited about it. It's for a mini junk journal that I created with a brown paper bag. A very simple construction um, made out of everyday items, things that you have around the house. I do have some little tools that I think make the job a lot easier. But for the most part, it's something that you can definitely whip up at home um, with what you have in your stash. I'm really excited to share this because it, um, I shared it in the Facebook group that I belong to, um, the Junk Journal Junkies, and a couple of ladies really touched my heart. Um, Jeannie and Lynn were talking about, uh, the, you know, they were interested in making these journals for um, one for a cancer center and the other one to share with some people in a local hospice. And um, I just couldn't say no. <laughs> so I am absolutely honored to be part of all the goodness that's going to come out of these um, ladies' uh, homes. So absolutely, I will um, show you guys how to do it. So hopefully you'll try it too and, and maybe um, make someone smile. So let's get started. Okay, so before I get started, I guess I'll show you what prompted the tutorial. This is a little mini junk journal that I created using just a brown paper bag. It's um, It's got a little metal closure, one of these beautiful Tim Holtz metal closures. And you have some ribbon. I, I titled some of them, some I, I, I didn't. Then I used some leaf die cuts to embellish the cover. As you can see here, uh, opening of the, <laughs> of the brown paper bag. Um, I included a couple of ties and I just created a little um, pocket with just some plain cardstock. Here is the main construction of the junk journal or notebook or however you choose to use it. Um, and I stamped the corner of the pages. I try to keep it very simple only because it's a small book and I didn't want to like overdo it. I wanted to leave some space for you to um, embellish or, or journal on um, however you choose to use the journal. So this is the inside back and this would be a great place for a picture or some notes. Here I created another little pocket which is some cardstock and here's a little flap that goes inside you could actually as you fill it up more you can kind of use the little flap and still close it with the, the clip but i choose to keep the little flap inside for now and and then the back is just embellished with some you know cardstock so these are the four that inspired the tutorial and let me show you how i did it so let me start by showing you what you'll need to complete this project. First, you're going to need your standard lunch um, lunch bag. It's I actually got these, I think, at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get them at like your local grocery store. They're really the inexpensive um, brown paper bags. I also found the same size bags at Walmart. And as you can see, they're just they're white, but it's it's really up to you. It's the same size, so it doesn't really matter, but um, you do have those options. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is a bone folder, which I'm sure most of you already have in your in your stash of stuff. Um, also, um, some sort of adhesive. You could use the um, ATG gun, or you could also use glue stick. I personally love using, <laughs> um, I use hot glue on everything pretty much, but I do use this um, sometimes um, let me see. The next thing you're gonna need, and I think this is really um, such a time saver. I absolutely love, love, love this die. This is the Sissix um, passport die, and I'm gonna hold it still just for a second so you can see the numbers in case you're interested. It is just perfect for so many of the crafts that I do. It's by the super talented Eileen Hole. I just have so much, so much of her products um, and her dyes. They're really just um, very versatile and, um, and I love using them. So what I did is that I actually used 
just part of the passport die to create the insert of my junk journal. Um, you, you know, absolutely if you don't have it yet, I recommend you do get it, but if you don't have it yet, you can um, cut the paper to size and and insert it, it should, it should work just the same. It's just, it, this will save you so much time. <laughs> so the inside, uh, let me see, it measures six and a half by four and three quarters. So that's that one. The other thing that you'll need is paper. So for the paper, since I'm making a junk journal, really anything goes with a junk journal, and that's why I love making them. Um, I You could take, and this is a, a nice little trip to your thrift store, you can get tons of music sheets like this. Um, I also add coffee filters, and they will work with that dye as well. You can take just a normal notebook, and again, it'll, if it's the larger size paper, it'll work for the for this die and this project. You can also take old books, which are so fun. Rip out some pages and add some just some fun um, images to your journal. Then I have some simple copy paper that you could use as well. And for this project, I did use some. Um, pads that were just really just fun colors this one had like writing and again music music sheets and stuff so these are um, this one is let me see so it's a six by six pad from DIY shop and I love it because you don't have to do this you don't have to use cardstock but I recommend it because I think it gives the the book a little bit more stability and these are actually another little shortcut if you want to, if you don't have the die yet. And that's to get these, um, I'm sure you guys have tons of these at home. The, the paper studio or any kind of paper pad that has the thinner paper inside. And this paper is, this paper pad, I mean, is four and a half by six and a half inches, which actually is about the same size as the inserts. So all you would have to do is take the page, fold it in half, and that should be the right size for for the, the journal. So the other thing you're gonna need is some ephemera or some sort of embellishment for the cover of the book and throughout the pages. It depends on how much you want to kind of put into it. You also um, could use twine for binding the junk journal book if you don't happen to have any twine or ribbon you can also use a stapler and that works just fine um, I, I tried it and the it, it fits perfectly um, for the size that you need to staple and then also a hole punch for when you are using the die you're gonna need to punch holes into the bag so you're gonna need that and I think that's all for materials, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I do is um, lay the bag down flat with what would be the bottom of the bag on the right side. And again, this is where the hot glue comes in. <laughs> so I, I just put a little bit of hot glue here and a hot glue there, and then that creates a little pocket um, that you could have, you know, just put some washi tape or, or other little um, pieces to embellish your, your journal. But since we're using the ATG gun today to make it just really easy. Okay. And then there you have your little pocket. Okay, the next thing I do is I fold it. I fold this over and this is where the bone folder is very helpful because you really want to kind of, since you're folding over several layers of the bag, you really want to kind of 
get that crisp and it helps to keep it down um, flat better. And then I fold this side over. And you try to line it up. Let's see, I'm trying to look through my camera so it's a little harder. And again, get that nice crease. And basically, that's your girl. So, now we move on to the, oh, the, the cardstock covers, okay? So what you're gonna need for that is, and I'll put all the, the details of the dimensions and stuff in the description. You're gonna need two three inch by four and three quarter inch. And again, I use cardstock, but you don't have to. Um, and then you're gonna need four of the three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I just love these papers. Okay, so these are going to reinforce all of those sides for you. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one for the cover. And you just add a little bit of glue. And this will be your front cover. This is using the um, the paper that's four and one quarter. I mean, four and three quarters by three and a quarter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I'll use another one of those four pieces for the this back. I think I like this one. I'm doing it rather quickly because I don't want to um, take too long with some of these steps. And then glue the other one. And these were all using the three and a quarter by four and three quarter pieces of cardstock. And then, now we're going to use the smaller pieces. And these were four and three quarters, okay, I should say three inch by four and three quarters. And these are going to be these two inside flaps. Basically, that is your um, cover. So when I cut some of these pieces um, using my six by six paper, I did have some extra little kind of edges and scraps. So what I did is that I took these little scraps um, that were cut out and I created little pockets. You see, so you can just Add them on by taping just three of the sides. And for the pockets, because I mean it's gonna get a lot more use. What I do is that of course I use the hot glue because I want to make sure that it's kind of stays secured. Okay, so that's one pocket and I want to use a different pattern so I could stand out a little bit. I hope I'm kind of 
can bring so you can see what I'm doing. This could be like a little tech spot. That's what I love about junk journals is that there's just so much freedom. There is no right or wrong way to do things. It's just sort of whatever makes you happy. So that's a little tuck spot or pocket there. And then you have another one here, okay? So now that the cover's done, and like I said, I had a whole bunch of other pieces left over. So you're welcome to, I mean, just go nuts. <laughs> Creating little tuck spots everywhere. I just wanna kinda show you like the basics and then you can use your um, your creativity to make it your way. Okay, so now that the cover's done, we're gonna go ahead and make the insert. And this is where, like I said, that um, Eileen Hole die, it's just, it makes your life so much easier because you just run a ton of papers through it and everything is cut perfectly. There is no measuring, which I'm not a fan of anyway. Um, and this particular junk journal, I added just some pieces of scrapbook paper, some graph paper, more scrapbook paper, some lined sheets of paper from notebooks, um, a doily, more scrapbook paper, and some graph paper. And it all just kind of comes together for some fun, fun junk journal. Okay, so then what I do is that after everything is run through the, the Sizzix Big Shot, then you're gonna have the holes already there for you. And look how beautifully this comes together. You see? So it's exactly the perfect size. That's why I cannot stress that die enough. It just um, saves you a lot of time. So then you take your, you know, your standard hole punch. This one happens to be a little bit smaller. I don't know the size, but it's a Fisker's um, hole punch. So then I use the die that's already there. I mean, the hole that's already there from the die. Okay. And then you just punch. And flip it over. And make sure it's in place. And then you do it again. Okay. So now... All you have to do is secure it to your bag. What I did for um, for that is just use some twine that I had. Um, if you don't have twine or if you haven't um, gotten the dye yet, you could just staple it. That's another another way to secure it to here because I tried and it actually is. A good size or if you have a long reach stapler that'll work too but you can kind of run it this way and staple but I like the look of the twine so I'm gonna go with that so to save a little time I fast forward through um, where I added the twine um, through the holes of the journal and attached it to the brown paper bag um, so here you, you have your beautiful little journal book ready to go. So now the fun part is embellishing it. So I, what I did in my other ones, uh, the ones that I showed you earlier, were just stamp kind of like the corners of them. Because again, like I said before, because they're smaller journals, I, I didn't really want to kind of make it too busy with all the crazy uh, fun embellishments that I normally use on my other junk journals so it's it's really because of the size keep it kind of simple and I just added some stamped images on there let me go ahead and just do I love this stamp by the way I forget what this is oh it's a stamping up one Okay, then and so on so you guys get the idea I don't want to make the tutorial too long so I'll leave that part for you to have fun with um, what I did then is focus on the cover 
So for the cover, I already kind of pulled together um, just a few little embellishments that I wanted to use. And normally I would have my handy dandy glue gun, <laughs> but I'm in a different room because I'm hoping for some better lighting. So I will be using my, my ATG gun. Okay, so I had already kind of assembled uh, the pieces together, so sort of know how I want things to be laid out on the cover. Okay. And again, this is really totally up to you how um, busy or how much detail you add to it. It's totally a personal preference. If you're going to um, make these for, for gifts, you could then definitely personalize them to add. And the, here, I would actually be using my glue gun. But I'm going to cheat cheat a little bit and use some ATG tape. And then for my sweet uh, Jeannie, who she's thinking about making these for a cancer center in her area, I stamped the word hope because I was just so touched by what she said that she wanted to use that word on her, on her junk journals to give the people from the Cancer Center some hope, and I thought that was just so beautiful. So, do I add that there? And, of course, some little rhinestones. I love using these on just about everything. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. Then I also had the idea of adding a little tag to it. I didn't do it to the other ones, but for this one, I don't know, I was kind of thinking that I wanted to do that. So I think I'm going to try using my little handy dandy punch. And this is just a little stamp that I just, um, I've had for a little while, one of my favorites. And then I just kind of distressed it with some Tim Holtz distressing inks. Let's see how this looks. Whoops. I hope you guys can see it. I had to move the camera a little bit because the other way I don't think was working as well. Let's try to tie it in the back. And then I had another one of the little birdies, which I thought would be cute in here. Just sort of mimic the one on the cover. There's another little stamp, which I just love. Okay, and this one, that just makes me happy, let me see, count the happies, indeed. Hmm, let's see, maybe here. Few more little one more actually 
So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about the tag? Let me know. I think it might be a little big, but <laughs> I wanted to try it. So, either way, um, so here's the cover, and now you guys know how to make your very own paper bag junk journal. And I hope you guys will try this project and let me know what you think um, I love to read some of your comments you're very supportive and very sweet and it's always such a treat to um, talk to my other crafty friends <laughs> and if you like the video and you want to see more then I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up like the video if you subscribed it would be even more awesome and if you shared it oh my gosh I'd love you forever <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.